Massive Pac-12 title implications on the line in this one. You got Oregon going to Utah to break it all down from the duck side of things from Scoop Duck. You may know him as Jay Hop. His legal name is Justin Hopkins. That's what the government calls him. Uh, Jay Hop, how are we feeling about this one, man? We were talking before we got on air. Going to be a unique test for Oregon in this one, obviously going on the road as well. Yeah, it's going to be another big test, and I don't want to you know, throw hyperbole out there because Oregon played a very tough Washington team. That was a big test on the road. This is going to be just as big. It's on the road. Utah's very tough, physical. Um, you know, Kyle Whittingham's had Oregon's number at various times throughout the last, you know, five, six years. And, uh, yeah, so it's just fun. I love all these big games in the Pac-12. I love all the eyeballs on the Pac-12. And, and once again, here's Oregon making an appearance on ESPN Game Day for the second time in three weeks. So a lot of things are buzzing in Eugene right now, for sure. What's the matchup you're watching in this one? Because I think what you said was on the money, like Washington kind of presents their own difficulties in the way that they play. But Utah, a little bit more of a, of a physical operation. Is it the line of scrimmage? Is it something with the linebackers and running backs? What, what are you watching most closely in this one when it comes to a matchup for Oregon? Yeah, I think Utah's approach is a lot more balanced than Washington's, right? Washington's really good at what they do in the air, so stick to it. But Utah's a little more balanced you know, Sion Vaki's been racking up the yards at running back. Um, and then Bryson Barnes comes in and it's just kind of like, wow, who's this guy? And plays lights out against USC and is a terrific story. Uh, you know, for me, if I'm Oregon, if I'm Dan Lanning, my game plan really is to try and slow down that run game, really force them to go through Bryson Barnes because, you know, I think Oregon's defense comparing to USC's defense is going to be much different for him. So, you know, I think you take that inexperience and that guy that doesn't have – you know, a lot of time in these big games and say, hey, you beat us. And uh, yeah, so for me, it's a line of scrimmage, being able to slow down Utah's rushing attack. And I think you want to try to make them one dimensional and maybe take your chances against the inexperienced Bryson Barnes. Yeah, if you're into like line of scrimmage kind of football, this is one for you. J-Hop, I want to leave you with this or ask you this question before we let you go. When it comes to Oregon, emotionally like like you know you have the big game against Washington have a great bounce back against Washington State Where, where's the psyche at when it comes to this team because now they got to go back on the road and they're, and they're playing a, a really tough like we talked about already in this segment physical outfit is the emotional tank still pretty full for Oregon or what are you thinking with them in this spot uh, I wrote actually wrote something earlier today on Scoop Duck and something that I really like and kind of highlight. I feel like Oregon's battle tested this year. And what I meant by that was they've won games in different fashions, right? They've leaned on the run game. They've leaned on Troy Franklin. You know, they've played that physical style of play. They've they've played, you know, uh, just gunning with Washington and going back and forth. You had to slug it out and come back and win uh, against Washington State and Texas Tech. Uh, Texas Tech was on the road. So I just like the fact that Oregon has figured out a number of different ways to win these games, that they're balanced on offense and that they're making these adjustments. So, you know, again, Utah is going to come in. That's going to be tough, but you have a lot of experience already this season with games like this. So that that definitely has to help Oregon a little bit. Yeah, it feels like Oregon's one of those teams that's able to get in multiple styles of fights. Like if, it, if it's a Washington team that's going to throw the ball around the yard, okay, we can keep pace. If you're going to play physical in the trenches, like Utah will, you feel like you're okay in that spot as well if you're Oregon. Uh, also, if you're watching this video, go get a membership at Scoop Duck. J-Hop just prefaced the one article he's written already on this, but there's also a roundtable article there prefacing you know, different key players to watch from Utah's point of view. Get plugged in if you like Oregon or if you like college football period, get plugged in over there. J-Hop, appreciate you, man. I'm sure we'll have you on again here real soon with all the big games Oregon has coming on, but uh, we'll, we'll talk again real soon, man. Thanks again. Looking forward to it. Thanks, JD. There is absolutely nothing worse than having a bunch of your friends go into a game and you want to go too, but guess what? You don't have tickets. This happened to me before. I'm imagining it's happened to you before. Let's not let it happen again. Let's use game time to get the best deals on all the tickets, all the entertainment events, especially college football games where they got tickets for you. Make sure you get that done with game time, all right? So if you're a fan of the Tennessee Vols, want to go up to Neyland for that Georgia game coming up here in November, game time has got you covered. So use game time to get the best tickets on the best deals guaranteed. If you have a seat that you find somewhere else in the same section, same row, Game Time gonna credit you 110% of the difference. Buy tickets in seconds with two taps using the Game Time app. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, use code ROUNDTABLE 
for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code R-O-U-N-D-T-A-B-L-E. That's Roundtable for $20 off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices, guaranteed. Oregon fans, if you liked that video, make sure you go get a membership over at Scoop Duck. Going to keep you informed on all things Oregon. Also, subscribe right here to the On3 Roundtable YouTube channel.